Hi, it's Tybug, and let me just rewind a bit. So I've been feeling really nostalgic this past couple of weeks, and I was looking around on the internet and on YouTube for um, some of the stories I used to hear growing up, and I was really sad to find out that they weren't on the internet, really. Like, you can find stories about Goldilocks and all that, but those are different types of stories than the ones I grew up. I'm Native American, I'm Apache and Cherokee, and my godparents are Navajo, so I grew up with a lot of those type of stories, and like, I was just really disappointed to find that the stories I grew up with weren't online, they weren't being told a lot. So. I searched around my house and I found the book I grew up listening to stories about. These were my bedtime stories. They are called The Telling of the World. They're edited by W.S. Penn. All, each story is told by a different person and he com compiled them all and like added art and all that. And just seeing this book almost brought me to tears because I thought we gave it away and I just haven't heard them in such a long time. I'm getting choked up a little bit. So I'm going to tell you one of the first stories I was told from this book, and it's The Creation of the World. It's by the um, River Tribes, I think, or the Pit Tribes. And it's about Coyote and Silver Fox and how they created the world. So I'm not going to read it word for word because I really encourage you guys to get this book. This book is just such a perfect book. And there's like a lot of dialogue in here that doesn't really pertain to the story because it's kind of like told between these two people. So the story is told by Jamie DeAngelo. Sorry if I butchered that. And I guess I'll get right into it. Oh, my book. <clears throat> it seems like there is nothing everywhere, but a kind of fog. Fog and water mixed. They say no land anywhere. This here silver fox was wandering and feeling lonely. He was feeling lonely, the silver fox. I wish I would meet someone, he said to himself. The silver fox did. He was walking along the fog and he met Coyote. I thought I was going to meet someone, he said. The coyote looked at him, but didn't say anything. Where are you traveling, says fox. But where are you traveling? Why do you travel like that? Because I am worried. I am also wandering, says the coyote. I am also worrying and traveling. I thought I would meet someone. I thought I would meet someone. Let's you and I travel together. It's better for two people to be traveling together. That's what they always say. Well, this coyote, he says, what are we going to do now? What do you think, says Fox? I don't know, says coyote. Well then, says Fox, I'll tell you. Let's make the world. How are we going to do that? We will sing, says the fox. So there they were, singing up there in the sky. They were singing and stomping and dancing around each other in a circle. Then the fox, he thought in his mind, clump a sod, come. That's the way he made it come, by thinking. Pretty soon he had it in his hands and he was singing. All the while he had it. They were both singing and stomping. All of a sudden, the fox threw the clump of sod. He threw it down into the clouds. Don't look down, he said to Coyote. Keep on singing. Shut your eyes. Keep them shut until I tell you so. So they kept on singing and stomping around each other in a circle for quite a while. Then the fox said to Coyote, Now look down there. What do you see? I see something. I see something. But I don't know what it is. All right, shut your eyes again. Now they started singing and stomping again. And Fox thought and wished, stretch, stretch. Now look down again. What do you see? Oh, it's getting bigger. Shut your eyes again. Don't look down. And they went on singing and stomping up there in the sky. Now look down again. Oh, now it's big enough, said the coyote. That's the way they made the world. They both jumped down on it and they stretched it some more. Then they made mountains and valleys. They made trees and rocks and everything. It took them a long time to do all that. And that's the very first story I'll tell you guys from this book. If you guys want, I'll make a series 
because there are so many good stories in this book. This is just one of the creation stories. This one is specifically from the Pit Tribe, but each tribe has their own variation of creation stories. I just, I think that's so fascinating. I'm infatuated with just everyone's different ways of seeing the world and like, it's just so interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want more, just let me know because I'm so eager to tell you guys more. And I guess that's all I have for you guys today. See you guys later. Bye.